The septic system at the off-grid homestead is in, and this is Jonathan. He's responsible for installing it. I'm responsible for everything else, apparently. <laughs> so we're standing next to the two 1,500-gallon tanks. This is a house that most of the time two people are going to live in. Why do we have two 1,500-gallon tanks, and why do we have such a large system? Chris, these are massive tanks. We are ready for anything. What we want to do is create redundancy. What That's we want to the do word. is if you have a party, if you want to have several parties a year, these tanks are going to handle anything that you can put in them. This is a working permaculture homestead. And they're going to have 20 people potentially here at one time learning about permaculture, practicing permaculture, and it's, that's part of that lifestyle. The idea is that it would never have to be repaired, replaced, anything like that. So having it be so robust and resilient makes it so that the homeowners have a carefree lifestyle here. So so what we've done to meet that request is we put in 500 feet of the infiltrator quick four chambers. They're 36 inches wide and they're four feet long. We have two separate fields. Uh, there at the box at the bottom of this, at the top of this hill, you'll see the poly lock flow divider. We can choose which side of the field we want to direct the water to or we can use both at the same time. If we want to let one side rest and heal, or we can do this. This allows us to choose which side, and we can just turn this and direct it to one side or the other. So these are the infiltrator uh, chambers. These plastic chambers work better than anything else on the market right now. There are five levels of this. Your first level fills up first, and then it tiers off to the second, third, fourth, and fifth tier. Okay. The so the first and the first tier is enough for the two people, and then you need all five tiers. Ideally, your high flow will be taken care of by your tanks. Um, it's amazing to see how much water goes into the first tank and how slowly it trickles out of the last okay. tank into your field. Okay. And so for two people, I'd be surprised if you used the half of the top. Uh, living here full time, uh, top row. These fields are designed to fail, so then there's that second tier and the third tier that allow when those when this system fails, that's right behind it. So the life of this is extended, yes, but yeah. with the more panels we we put in, uh, the longer lifetime of this okay. the septic system. And you can see there the root matting is about 12 inches deep. One of the concerns here is the trees and whether or not the roots are going to affect these chambers. There's only about three trees. The willow, the Leland cypress, and the maple, after about 20 years, will create a matting on the bottom of your chamber. The poplars that are in the field now are not, are not a concern. Um, Which is the majority of what's out there. Yes, everything in the field is poplar. Everything in the field is poplar now, but we do have some maples outlying the drain field. So we do have some maples on the outside of the drain field that we want to take out. We want to take we want to take them out to keep them from cre creeping right. in on our field. We also want to take them out carefully. We want to push them away from the field. If those trees fall on our field, we take a chance of uh, busting a pipe underground, depending on the depth, uh, tearing up a chamber. We don't want to do that, um, and so we're not going to. 